see how Jesus handled demonic spirits. Amen? And since he's our greatest example, you know, all we have to do is do what he did. Amen? Amen. Mark chapter 1, we're just going to walk through Mark. Amen? We're going to walk through Mark, and then we're going to give an illustration of Paul, what Paul handled up on the demon spirit. Okay? Mark chapter 1. Look at verse number 21. Mark chapter 1, verse number 21. We're talking about preparing for war. Preparing for war. And this is a spiritual fight. Okay? You ready? You're in Mark chapter uh, 1. Verse 21, look what it says. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, underlined had authority, and not as the scribes. Amen. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee, who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. He didn't stay in there, did he? He came out. So Jesus said, hey, look, you shut up and come out. And, and he did exactly what Jesus said. Verse 27. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Hmm. And, and immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region uh, around about Galilee. Jump around to verse number 34. And he healed many that were sick of divers diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. Amen, amen, amen. Now, Notice in this passage that the devils know who Jesus is. They say, we know who you are. <laughs> we, know, we know what you came to do, too. Wow. They say, just leave us alone. He said, no, I can't do that. I got to deliver this person from your hand. Jesus said, hold your peace and come out of him. And the Bible says he came out. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He came out. Everybody see that? Okay. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. We're just going to walk through the Word. Verse number 1. Mark chapter 5, verse number 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of, uh, of the Gadarenes, and when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Hmm. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee that thou torment me not. Hold up a second. The, devil, the demon asking Jesus not to torment him. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is legions, so them demons can speak. They have understanding. Okay? For we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country so they could travel. They didn't want to go out the country. They said, well, we, we, we cool here, Jesus. Let, let us stay here. Now what... Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea. Uh, they were about 2,000. 
and were choked in the sea. So we can see here that not only do demons talk, and not only do they have some understanding, but guess what? They run in packs. Amen. Amen. But notice again that when Jesus told them to get up out of there, they did what Jesus said. Amen. <laughs> kind of like I told that, that boy said, well, I'm going to run. I said, yeah, you're going to run. Yeah, you're going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to run around. Well, I'm, look, you're going to run. <laughs> Mark chapter 7. Mark, just, I'm just, just showing you through Scripture. Let me just walk through Scripture. Now, now, because I don't want any of you to be afraid of the enemy. Now, okay. Now, let me, let me preface this by saying, I don't want you going to mess with no demon if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Hold, hold your place there in Mark chapter 7. <laughs> Go to Acts chapter 19. See, you get, a little, you get a little word tonight, and then you leave out of here like, well, I'm going to go. I know, I know where that, 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 that boy walk in the graveyard. I'm going to mess with him. Hey, we just read that that boy was in, they put that boy in chains and fetters, and he broke them. That demonic spirit is a strong demon. Okay? So I don't want you going out and mess with folks, and you don't know what you're doing. Acts chapter 19. Look at verse number 11. Acts chapter 19, verse 11. And we're going back to Mark now. We're going back to Mark. I just want to take a little side tra trail here. Look what it says. Acts 19, verse 11. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto, uh, unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from, from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Hold up a second. You mean to tell me that, that I could have an anointed cloth? And it cured diseases, and it will cause evil spirits to leave. That's what the Bible just said. Verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, uh, which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord, saying, We adjure thee by Jesus who Paul preached. <laughs> They, don't, they didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus. They said, hey, we're going to cast you out in, in Jesus' name, the one who Paul preached. Okay, all right. Verse 14. And there were seven sons of one, one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. Hmm. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, Pastor Sharp, I know. But who are you? <laughs> I, I, I put, I put uh, so my television audience and folk, I put Pastor Sharp in there because I, you know, praise the Lord for emphasis. Because they'll be like, they don't see Pastor Sharp in there. <laughs> Amen. See, if you don't know who you are before you go start making war, with these demonic spirits, they will jump on you. Let me continue to read. Verse 16, And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. That demonic spirit, because those people were playing around, said, I don't know who you are, but I do know who have authority and who's operating based upon the name of Jesus, I'm going to obey them, but you, who are you that I should obey you? And if you don't know who you are, I submit to you, you better leave that demon alone. Amen. Because, see, see, that's why I'm teaching you prepare for war, because you're going to come up.